Also happening now, New York City Council Speaker Corey Johnson and transportation advocates rally on the steps of City Hall as lawmakers prepare to approve a new streets master plan. The plan expands bike and bus lanes while cutting space for cars. CBS 2 political reporter Marsh Kramer has more. More protected bike lanes, more protected bus lanes. Council Speaker Corey Johnson has one goal for his streets master plan. He says he wants to break the car culture. And we'll do it in a way that prioritizes mass transit over private automobiles and people over cars. And he just managed to strike a deal with Mayor de Blasio to support it. I commend Speaker Johnson. He had a very bold vision for how much farther we could go in terms of a whole host of things uh, to create safer streets. The Speaker's plan, expected to be passed by the City Council tomorrow, includes a sweeping agenda for transforming city streets, making it safer for bikers and pedestrians speeding up buses. The $1.7 billion plan requires the city to build 250 miles of protected bike lanes and 150 miles of protected bus lanes that are either physically separated from traffic or monitored by cameras. The city is also required to install so-called transit priority systems at thousands of intersections. It's a system that allows buses to turn traffic lights green as they approach the intersection, speeding travel. The city also has to create one million square feet of pedestrian space in the first two years. It's going to take a while to get all of it in place. That may be an understatement. Transportation Commissioner Polly Trottenberg has said her agency would need billions in new funds for staff, offices, and equipment to turn the street's master plan into a reality. That may be one of the reasons Mayor de Blasio insisted the effective day of the plan be pushed back from this December to December 2021, just before he leaves office. Our administration will do all the groundwork to get ready to ramp up to that much higher level, and then uh, my successor will take it forward. For the record, Corey Johnson is hoping that he's de Blasio's successor. He's hoping to ride his street's master plan into victory in the next mayoral election. At City Hall, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And the street's master plan goes into effect just as congestion pricing is implemented in the city.